Let us review some of the concepts that we have discussed in this demonstration. We discussed the use of the reporting application as well as reporting rates. In particular, we looked at the dataset report, resources, organization unit distribution reports, and the reporting rate summary. In the dataset report, we can review data as it would appear on the data entry screen. One of the key advantages of using this part of the application is that there is no risk of changing the data. We can review the data and see the data values, but we cannot edit or update these data values. We can therefore share these types of reports with different users. We also looked at resources. Here in the resources page, we can add both external links as well as our own resources that users can download through this resources page. We also discussed the use of the organization unit distribution report. This allows us to separate our organization units based on classification. These types of reports may come in a little bit handy when we need to describe the structure of our system to other users. Lastly, we discussed the use of the reporting rate summary. In the reporting rate summary, we can access the reporting rates of the datasets that we submit through DHIS2. We can also access this type of data through our different analysis applications. In this particular example, I selected Animal Region, which displays all the data for the districts within that region. I, however, cannot compare Animal and Food Region together. This can be accomplished by using one of our analysis tools. If I go to Pivot Table and select Data Sets as my data type, and select the reporting rate for the data set I'm interested in reviewing. I then define my period, and then I want to select all of the districts within Training Land. We can do this by selecting the district level. We'll just make sure to add those organization units to the table. We filtered out our periods because we've only selected one period, and then we'll update. You can see in this example now, I have all the districts from within the country. This was not possible within the reports application. In the reports application, I could only retrieve the values of the districts from within one region. I can add in the hierarchy in order to show which region these districts belong to. This is one of the key advantages of accessing reporting rates within one of the analyses tools. This ends this session on the reporting application as well as reporting rates within DHIS2. Let us know if you have any questions about anything that we've gone over in this demonstration.